Hey guys, in this video, I'll be reviewing this Vague S640 graphics tablet and it is one of the cheapest tablets that you can find on the market. This thing costs only around $30 and for the price, I think it's a great tablet. So without wasting any more time, let's just get right into it. First of all, let's go through the unboxing real quick. Now my box was a little bit crumbled because I ordered this from China, but the box contents were okay, so I don't have any problem. So first of all here we have the tablet and then you will get a fake driver disk which contains the link where you can download the driver. And then you will get the pen encased in a foam pouch which is good for traveling I guess. And then you will get some extra nibs and a nib remover. And yeah this is pretty much what you are gonna get. Oh yeah you also get a quick start guide. So let's start with the tablet itself. The working area of the tablet is 6 into 4 inches which is actually considered small but I think it's okay for beginners like me or if you're just going to start out on digital drawing and arts. The cable on the tablet is not removable or not orientable so when you use it for left hand usage I think the cable goes on the wrong side and you'll just mess up on things. So that's a huge issue for left handed people. Now other than that I think everything on the tablet is fine. The tablet doesn't have any extra buttons but I think using the keyboard shortcuts is actually easier. The tablet has a small LED light which shows if the pen is in its range or not. Even though the graphics tablet has rubber grips for gripping it, I found out that it is not doing a great job and it was kind of slippery so I ended up gluing it to my mouse pad and I am using another mouse pad. So yeah, that's how it is. By the way, this is how it looks on a minimal setup like mine and you guys can see it's really clean. I mean, for me it's clean, okay? So yes, this is how it looks. Well, let's talk about the pen right now. And it is a battery free pen, so you don't have to care about batteries running out. So that's actually a great thing and the pen doesn't roll around on itself. I thought that, well, it might roll around on itself when I saw it's a round pen, but the weight distribution packs it up. So the pen has two buttons and I actually didn't use those buttons because those are kind of in an uncomfortable position for your hand to reach and you cannot even feel the buttons when you are using it because they are just so, I mean, packed, compact I will say. Now let's talk about the software. From the software you can map those custom buttons. I have kept them on default because I don't use them. Then you can also check the pen pressure sensitivity. It has 8192 or 8192 levels of pressure which is great for a tablet and I think this is the highest levels of pressure sensitivity and you can also change the sensitivity settings from here. I just kept it on default because I don't feel changing it. Now you can also change how much area you want to use and you can map it according to your need and also you can use Windows Ink function that way you will be able to use some gestures on your PC but I didn't find much useful because the cursor becomes really small and for me I don't see the cursor because I have eye problems. So other than that it's great. You can also change left hand or right handed mode and you can also change the working area settings. So yeah this is basically what you get from the software. Now let's talk about the drawing part. Well you have to remember that the working area of this tablet is 6 into 4 inches not the drawing area. The drawing area is actually much smaller than that so you have to keep that in mind while working but other than that I think it's actually a great tablet. There is no tapering issues or you can see the transition from thin to thick is really good and I think this tablet does a great job for drawing. Now talking about the pen pressure sensitivity it works really great. I checked it on these softwares so here is how the pen pressure works. You can see the curves and the smoothening is really great and the transition from light to heavy also is great. So if you are going to start out I think it's a great tool for drawing and for animation it's also great because you need to draw frame by frame for drawing. So yes that's great. Now let's talk a little bit about the Osu section. I did try to play Osu but I couldn't because I am not a good player. I I mean I don't play this game. It's okay, right? All right. So I did try to play Osu and I found out that hovering the mouse around is really easy and as the surface is small, I think it's a great tool for playing Osu. Even though I can play Osu, I did do something. So yeah, it's a great tool for Osu as well because I saw some other reviews and they are telling that this was a great for Osu but, but this review is not about Osu. So yeah, this is pretty much all about the review that I can say. 
there aren't many cons about this thing i think there are more pros than cons so yes if you want to buy this thing then you should just go for it and yeah this is pretty much it so this was it for today and i'll catch you up in the next video